okay. It's in the pans of my legs. This is my Mr. Kate gift guide. So tons of ideas coming at you for the holiday season. So first thing I wanna talk about is style. Style stuff is really fun to gift your friends, your mom, whoever in your life loves fashion. I love this line. This is by Res Denim. They're just really fun printed pattern jeans. This is a fun paisley, a tapestry. It's just fun, it's a fun gift than regular jeans. Well, moving on to faux fur. I mean, it's so festive and it's faux. And this one's for Love and Lemons. It has like this fun chopped look to it. Love this shirt, look at this shirt. Let's dance, lover. This is from Lovers and Friends. I love it. It's sequins. Like, I don't know if you can see it. It's a little beading. Whitney Court's line, Whitney Eve. Sweaters are a go-to, obviously, for a wintry holiday gift. It has a hood. I love hoods. <gasps> oh, these shorts. Anything sparkly holiday is obviously very festive. Bring in the light. And these are like jog shorts. You can wear them with tights. I love how it has this elastic waistband, which is a really Kind of forgiving thing if you're giving a gift to someone not necessarily sure of their size. Lingerie. If you're like a dude looking to give a gift to your girlfriend or something. This is uh, for Love and Lemon. It's vintage inspired. It's not like all crazy, like G-string thonged out. Little undies and this bralette. So pretty. This is a blazer from Lovers and friends, again, I love shoulder pads. Again, I think it's like a really flattering cut. And then if you're looking to give someone just like a fun dress, I love this t-shirt dress. These are from Keepsake, which is an Australian brand. They're just a fun pattern, and this cut is universally flattering on people. Of course, I can't leave out a gift guide without mentioning Mr. Kate Jewelry. These are all pieces from the Winter Rose collection, other past collection pieces as well. Spa. I love this line, and I'm sure I'm gonna butcher the name. Oreeb, or Oreeb, Oribe. It's a fancy line. It's, you know, a little bit pricey, but I'm telling you this in particular, this, it's a Prey Beach, the beachy wave spray, is how I get my hair well, to look messy and beachy and wavy. Okay, another thing that I love that is a fancy kind of spa-like thing is Kai deodorant. I love non-antiperspirant deodorant because it's not healthy for you to wear antiperspirant. It smells amazing, it's really fresh, and let me just, yep. Another fancy, beautiful smelling thing. My favorite candle brand is Value Spa. I have a candle obsession. And I love the candles, I love their room spray. They come in these beautiful boxes and the and the containers for the candles. Once the candle burns out, you can use it for like a jewelry container or something. Moving on to the man in your life. I know guys are hard to shop for, but these are some cute ideas. A wood watch, a solid wood watch. I actually bought this for Joey. He loves it and he wears it all the time. Like for realsies, like I don't force him, like he actually wears it. It's by Tense. Like it sounds like it's like stress, but it's, it, that's the brand. This thing is super cool. It's called the Monocle Speaker. And in Monocle, like, you know, but you can't actually see through it, but you can hear things out of it. You can turn up the volume by twisting this. You can plug it into your phone, your computer. I love this hat. It's by a company called Dope. It's just like a super metallic statement, and I think it would be great for the guy that you think is dope. Children, the little kids. Okay, these books are by a man named Barney Salzberg, and he's actually my landlord. This is my favorite one. It's called Beautiful Oops. It's all about how when you make mistakes or you spill something or whatever, you can turn it into something beautiful, which is so the Mr. Kate message of like, why not DIY gifts? I know some of you might not have the budget or you wanna just hand make something as gifts. Referencing some of the past DIYs I've done on the Mr. Kate blog. Shoes, you can turn any pair of shoes into like trendy chain shoes. It's just adding some chain where the laces were. The iPlaid, which I did last year, but it's such a classic. It's good for guys. It's a tablet storage case that you can make out of a plaid shirt. This is a fun DIY. My friend made this actually out of a plaid. All she did was cut open the sleeves and then basically make them into cute plaid poncho. Oh, the gem socks. Really fun, like stocking stuffer. Who doesn't love rhinestones? I do. Jewelry holder, the DIY jewelry roll for travel that I did with iSpy DIY. Easy to make, perfect for traveling. Salt scrub, it's great for, you know, your mom, your grandma. This is floral uh, faux flower art. So you may remember that lampshade that I made. Well, this is just store-bought frames with faux flowers glued onto the front. I also wanted to mention thrift store gifts. Obviously, you can get things really inexpensive. I love to shop for home accessories for people at thrift stores. I love brass home accessories. These are horse head fireplace screen. I also love this little family of giraffes. Look at it, so cute, a mom is kissing a baby. And then I also love globes. It's a classy, it's a large scale gift. I got this for $10, um, but those are my gifts. 
picks for the holiday season. Gifty, gift, gift. Oh wait, my, wait, why not? Okay, well, I mean like, you know what I'm saying? Like it was like, why not-ish. I mean, I tagged that on, whatever. Mr. Kate! Wow, thank you so much for watching. I would so, so appreciate it if you like click on the other videos. Maybe subscribe because like I heart you. Bye.